Dagonair, and I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to place vehicles into your DAISY server from DAISY ST uh, database. So you're going to go ahead and edit your database and click on Bliss 0 or 107, and there's going to be a few tabs that we need to notice here. We have our, our uh, index right here. We're looking at World Vehicles, Vehicles. We're going to go through the Survivor Profile and Instance Vehicles. First things first, going into Vehicles. This is going to be where you're going to input your vehicles. Uh, it's your vehicle ID is basically if you're numbering and listing things off on this page. So uh, first thing on this page, first vehicle, we're talking about the MH60S. Now the class name is going to be a specific name that DAISY notices and recognizes as a specific file type that it pulls and places a vehicle in. You can't just name it whatever you want. You actually have to find the file type, which I'll put links in the description showing where those things are. So to insert a new vehicle, we need to find out what the last ID is. Last ID number 52. So we're going to click insert ID number 53. The class name, we're going to go with uh, HMMWV, which is a Humvee. And you just go ahead and leave these the same. Uh, we don't need to edit this in any way. You can edit these two right here the limit minimum, limit max. This is going to be the minimum number of vehicles of, of Humvees that can spawn in the server. So we're going to leave that at zero. And then we'll do the limit max at two, maximum of two in the server. You click on go, and this gives me an error because I already have this. It's not gonna let me duplicate it. Now, when you're putting this in, if this comes up and says, you know, the problem's right here, duplicated entry, can't have two of them. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the vehicles. We're gonna look for the Humvee right here. Okay, I've only got a limit max of one. If I wanted to add another one in, or two more in to this additional one, I'll just change this to a three or two but I want to leave it at one for my server, okay? Then you go to vehicle instance. Vehicle instance, the ID, again, listing everything off. So first vehicle instance that we're talking about, world vehicle ID and instance ID. World vehicle ID, let's go ahead and click on that. Where does it take us? So we are talking, world vehicle ID is located right here, which we will see when we go into the world vehicle tab. So the world vehicle ID, number four, this vehicle ID. Which one are we talking about? Which vehicle are we talking about? Okay, we're talking about the URL, okay? So, URL, this is where it's gonna be located in the world, right here. Which world is it gonna be located in? You'll find that, excuse me, you'll find that in the worlds tab, but we're just gonna go ahead and click this right here. The worlds tab, first world, Chernaris. Okay, Cherno. So if we look at this, the ID, the fourth line in the world's the world vehicle, vehicle ID is going to be the fourth vehicle, which is the URL. World ID, it's going to be in the Chernos map. World space, this is actual coordinates that the game reads and says, okay, this is where the vehicle is going to be at. The chance is going to be the probability of it spawning. It's percentage based, but you put it in as a decimal, so this is a 65% chance of actually spawning at this particular location in the world. So moving on, in the vehicle instance, we're looking at ID, world vehicle ID, instance ID. We're going to go into insert. Well, before we do that, we need to find out what the last ID number is. So we're listing everything chronologically, 107. So insert. We're going to go with insert number 108. Excuse me, 108. Now we need to figure out what the world vehicle ID is going to be. So we're going to go into the world vehicle tab. Oop. Okay. Go into the world vehicle tab. ID number. Find out what the last one is. Or any of them are. You can choose any of them really if you really wanted to. Uh, but just be sure you're not duplicating them on the same server. Um, or the locations. Otherwise you're going to have vehicles spawning on top of each other. So we're just going to go with number uh, 7 is what we'll do. So we'll go back to vehicle instance, insert. Okay, we'll do one wait. Uh, it said number 7. The instance ID is going to be the same on everything. It's going to be 107. Now world space, again, this is where it's actually going to be placed in the world. Now to be able to find the best place to put this either next to your guy or in a certain location that you're looking for, here's what you're going to do. Go to profiles first and foremost. This gives you a list of people that have played on your server and their uh, unique ID that is given to them. 
Uh, so we're going to go with mine right here, the 750. Okay, now we're going to find out where I am actually at in the map. We're going to go to uh, Survivor, open this up, and we're going to look for 750, which is right here. My unique ID is right here. This is my world space. This is where I am at currently in the map. I'm going to copy that, go to world space, and we're going to paste it. Okay, so that means the vehicle is going to be at that specific location at the uh, restart of the server. Inventory, you can put in here different items to have in the inventory of the, uh, the vehicle. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then the fuel type and the damage type. Fuel is going to have zero fuel, uh, excuse me, a full tank of gas right here, I believe, is with zero. And then one is going to be empty. And then damage, this is taking uh, the least amount of damage, and this is taking the max damage. If you guys just put in decimals like 0 0.25 here and then 0 0.375 there, then your vehicles are going to need fuel and need to be repaired. So it's just best to do decimals rather than whole numbers um, to kind of make your players kind of have to fight for the vehicles. So you'd leave that like that. Then you go over the world vehicles. Well, you first you hit go. Excuse me. First you hit go every single time when you're done. But because I don't want to put anything else in, and this is just a tutorial, I'm not going to do it. World vehicles now. World vehicles. This right here, majority of the time, you're not going to have to really edit anything other than the world space ID. But if you really wanted to put in a new vehicle, you have to find out what the last ID number is. Okay, this is my last ID number. I'm going to insert it. Uh, excuse me, I didn't even look at what it was. Last ID number, 97889. Insert. We're going to go 97900. The vehicle ID. This is your list of vehicles that we're going to go with. Okay, we're vehicle number four. World ID. We want this to be in Cherno. And the world space. This is telling us where the actual spawn location will be for your world. So say that the vehicle blows up and you want the vehicle to go back to its original location. This is going to tell it to take you back to the original location. So we're going to say this. And we're going to paste my position. And we're going to say my location. Excuse me. Location now. And then the chance for of it spawning, we're going to put it at 65%. And one thing I didn't mention before, but remember, we did copy my location of where I am actually at in the game. So let's say that I log off. The server restarts, the vehicle gets placed there, and then I try and log back in. What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to die. Okay, we don't want that to happen. So be sure to move your guy if you're going to copy your character's location. And then you hit go. Then when you restart the server, the vehicle is going to spawn there. It, well, actually it has a 65% chance of spawning there. Um, the instance or vehicle says that it's going to be at that location if it does spawn. And the vehicle tells you what kind of vehicle is actually going to be there. So I hope that this helps um, if, uh, or excuse me, when the buildings uh, deployable or buildings instance uh, and all of that gets fixed, I will show you how to place buildings into your server as well. So I hope that this helps. I hope you guys uh, enjoy hosting your server, and I want to thank uh, Daisy ST for making this available to us. And uh, once again, hope you guys have fun, and maybe I'll see you on my server. Bye.